We had the photos take, or we had photos. She took photos of the house and sent it to us. And bear in mind, this is a handyman special. Do you still pay to have a photographer go out and take better photos, or do you just use those photos that the seller gives you? Just yeah, the only yeah, we just use those. If it's a nice, pretty house and it's like really nice, I would get a pro photographer. Right. Okay. And then what about an inspection? You just let the seller do their own inspections and recommend they get an inspection. We don't necessarily need to do an inspection. Yeah. I mean, the buyer. I would, sorry. I would require the buyer to do it. Right. And have them sign and initial every page. Talking about tenant buyer, that's what we do. If a house needs work, we make them get an inspection. And that's part of the docs they sign so that there's no question. Like they can't come back later and say, well, I didn't know it was this bad. Give me is, my money did, back. Okay. Is that document provide uh, did you guys make that document up is it provided in pipeline or do we need to make that up ourselves no you just have them go order a professional inspection bring the printed out report with their initials and signature on every page got it mm-hmm. fair and enough that just goes into the file you and you make them do that on a on a handyman special yeah this is once we've chosen them right we don't make every single person that's no, interested it's once you've said look right. you guys are the ones i'm taking your now next step is you need to go get a professional inspection and then we'll, and then once that's done and you guys are satisfied with it, then we will finish everything up. We'll collect the rest of your deposit. We'll sign. We'll close. Yeah. Okay. We need to get that. In that tomorrow. order. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Get that before you take their money and <laughs> they sign everything. We can take the $1,000 hold deposit though. Yes. Oh, about that. So the last time, so I took a thousand dollar hold deposit and I took it via um, PayPal and they charged me $30. And then I, when I have to refund it, then, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, no, you could you, do that multiple yeah. If you refund it, you get, they don't. No, I know. But I'm just saying, if I collect that multiple times and get charged yeah. $30 every single time and I don't end up accepting them, then that's like, you know, that's digging into my pocketbook. And I don't like that very much. So is there another way? <laughs> <laughs> is there another Cash way? App. To Cash Zelle. app. Venmo, Zelle, yeah. Wire. I mean... Cryptocurrency. So any of those cash apps, they can just set Bitcoin. it up from their account <clears throat> rather than doing yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just started using Cash App. It's cool. Okay. It's easy. So. Okay. What's the percentage on that? Zero. Well, that it's zero because it's coming from their bank account rather than a credit card, right? right. They're setting it up like as a, at a as basically an automatic transfer. So there's yeah. no fee for that. I think that. it uses their debit card. Yeah. Right, a debit yeah. card versus a, a credit card, and there's a fee. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. So you can, I didn't know you could do that with, I guess it doesn't matter if it's a business account. <laughs> that's through Facebook, Cash App's Facebook, right? I don't know. I thought it was separate, but I know you can also send payments through Facebook Messenger too. That's, I think that's what it is. I, uh, maybe, maybe it's the same okay. thing. Okay, I'll figure that out then.